Lol. <laughs> well, that works out. Okay, so, uh, no wolf? Oh, yeah, I think we're gonna, fly. I think we're gonna say... Them, so. Yeah, I'm gonna say no wolf. Probably passed out Lol then. Probably. All right, so what's going on, guys? Good to see then. everyone. Uh, we're gonna be That's starting exciting. momentarily. Oh yeah, and Bear I with got a uh, seventy percent off coupon. We have a little faster exciting, setup today, exciting. so that's good. No, oh. For me, that was exciting. Too. There we go. I'm playing. Uh, I'm playing a, a click tag with all our audio right now. Uh, thanks, Mrs. Magda. I'm good. I've got water. I have. I have energy drinks. I'm good to go. Hey, Vector. All right, let me do shoutouts real quick. Uh, shoutouts to Bodacious, Sandy, Angel, Seth the Cat, my awesome wife, and Strudel. What's going on, guys? Achilles, Crocodile, Ith. I think that's it. Ith, I, I, if. <laughs> What's going on, dude? Sorry for butchering your name. Jesus, King Beast, good to see you guys. Ghost, Lolash, shoutouts to Lolash. I saw you had an awesome stream today, dude. That was great stuff, man. Uh, Minecraft, Potato Hop, Rags. Uh, Q is in the house. What's up, Q? Scarfino, Schald, Squirrely. Uh, who else is here? Tommy, welcome to the channel. And JP, Vector, Wachika, and Zeno. Good to see you guys. Um, so I am on with, uh, we've got a handful of people, uh, so we've got Zofi Nima, who is, uh, you can check out his Twitch channel as Nima92, uh, Wolf isn't here yet, but we have Q, which is We Bad at Games, uh, myself, JJ, um, which is JJ Jones Jr., I forget the last part, I'll get that guys too, and Scarfino, of course. Last time, you guys completed your assault on the Kragnaw hideout, wherein many goblins were slain, and uh, the leader, a uh, bugbear, was somewhat accidentally dispatched by Bolt Vanderhuge, who just so happened to throw his axe into the right place. He was trying to use it as a grappling hook throws it up onto the ledge to catch it, and happens to hit the bugbear boss in the back between the shoulder blades, um, and then yanked him down, and it was, therefore, quite quick. You guys were really lucky, incidentally, that he was taken out so quickly. Uh, the amount of damage he did, he could have easily killed anyone, or at least knocked down to zero in a single hit. So, Sweet. You, that, was, that was luck. That was good luck. Nice, Blue. So, that is awesome, buddy. The coffers have been emptied. However, not everybody was in the room at the time. So we are going to have to come back to that later. Because not everyone is aware that they are coffers in the first place. Regardless, um, right now, you have a human, Sildar. Yeah, we left, Mobros. Who has offered to pay you. Uh, for escort back to town, back to Fandolin. It's the town of Fandolin. It's oh, look at that on your screens. It's in the top right, right there, Fandolin. Yay! Exactly. Thanks for the click, Nima. Thanks for highlighting that. <laughs> and um, he's uh, he's offered to uh, to pay you for for getting him back there. And this is reportedly where he and. Gundren, the dwarf who you were char who charged you originally with with running this wagon of supplies down to Fandolin, is where he was heading to as well. So you were headed here, he was headed here. This is apparently the nexus of activity. Everything is relying upon this. So, okay, uh, what what time of year is it? Like, what's the weather like? That's a good question. Roll a d4, please. Let's, let's establish this. 
All right, it is winter. It winter is, is coming. It is cold. No, winter is here, bitches. Damn. Sucks. Stop, Sammy. Um, so, yeah, no snow on the ground or anything like that, but it is it is cold. Uh, Fandolin is not too far from a coast. Um few hundred miles, couple hundred miles off the coast, if that. Maybe not even that far. I'd have to, I'd have to look at a, at, a, at a realm's map in order to confirm that. But, um, yeah, it's, it's not far. It's pretty close to Neverwinter, for those of you who know what that is. By the way, your map's cut off on the right. Yeah. Wait, really? Yeah. Yeah. I just Where see Fanda. I see Fanda. This is Panda. Can you scroll it? You scroll it? No, it's the completely no. cut off. No. Oh shit. Uh, I see it now. It wasn't doing that before. Okay, let me fix that. That should be... Wanna Fanda? Wanna Fanda? Wanna Fanda? <laughs> Thanks, Mobros. Yeah, welcome guys. I know it's a few new people in the chat. Appreciate you guys checking out the channel. There we go. There. There. Oh, yeah. And, of course, because we're in a town. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Gotta have town music. So calming. Now, I'm not sure if Nemo is just caressing my shoulder, but on what? my, my what overlay, this is so good. Calming. It's probably Zofie. Don't call out lurkers. <laughs> Jesus, dude. I'm not. Calming. I love it's calling so calming. out lurkers. There was this it. guy named Calming in your channel. No, I'm kidding. Zath, what's up, buddy? Welcome to the channel, dude. Okay. Um. So we actually aren't in the town yet. Um. Hey guys, I'll be right back. What is that? All right. Okay. Um, you actually aren't in the town yet. You do still have to head there. Um. What are you guys now? Now, here's the thing. I do want to say that we are now going to treat this a little bit Grand Theft Auto. This is now open world, okay? Whoa! Don't necessarily split yourselves out because then I have to like take individual time to for each person to do their one thing. If someone really needs to, that's fine, but look, we don't want to make it a matter of a habit, right? Right. So, We're coming in from a certain place or no? Um, you're leaving the the cave, the hideout. So um, you. I you love my Logitech, to be honest, guys. Here, but you don't have to go to Fandolin. I mean, you can go wherever you want. It's just that the guy's offering to get you to Fandolin. You have um, a wagon load of supplies that are supposed to go to Fandolin. Like that's kind of your mission at the moment. But technically, you guys can do whatever, go whatever. Um, and sorry, it sorry. It is my job to go along for the ride. Yes. To to clarify, Fadlin, um, the the supplies that we found in the cave, those were the supplies with Gudrun. Um. Well, the supplies with Gudrun are your supplies. Oh, well, oh no, no, we running. buried them or something, right? Right. Exactly. Right. So okay. the supplies that were in the cave, you don't know where they're from. Right. They all looked like they were from the same source. And if you think about it, you can kind of realize that it's goblins. They probably didn't come by these supplies via legal means. They were probably intercepted. Okay, well, so, so what's the story I want to take... Uh, what's the story with Wolf? Since he's not here, what are we doing about it? What's the story say? I have no... I have no... Contact. You have no contact. No, I mean, oh, what, is, oh, what are we doing oh, about it in the saying. game? Sure. Um, he is... You know what? I'm going to say he has disappeared. You guys don't know what happened to him. Okay. Well, I think we should go to Fandolin and drop off some of this crap we found. Have you guys seen Alafa? Sure. Um, no. I don't know. I haven't seen him ever since we basically looted the cave um i want to go ahead and take one of the uh, sides 
of the chat the crates over here so we can show somebody this emblem and try and figure out where this stuff came from. Well, somebody said that they might actually want to take some of the stuff itself. Was that who, who said that? I said we, have we can unload some of this crap we got. Oh, oh! Did you mean the stuff that you guys were running, or well, did you mean stuff in the cave? If you guys want, <laughs> I I know a guy who might take it. Do this we have combo. room on the on the wagon for this stuff? Well, we'll have Seems to get like it back to the stuff. wagon. Um, well, you that's actually, not a problem. In this, in this room, you can find um, parts that are clearly from a wagon. You, if if somebody wants to have their hand at it, you might be able to reassemble it. It it was only roughly disassembled. Hmm. Anyone know how to make a wagon? I don't know how to make anything. Except for blood. Well, <laughs> in well large let's quantities. put our minds together. Maybe we can figure this out. Um, so that is a thing, actually. If, if one of you wanted to make the attempt and somebody wanted to help... <laughs> Wolf didn't um, die. Then no, the, per the person doing the work uh, would actually have advantage if the helper succeeded in their role. All right, mm -hmm. I think I'm going to try my hand at this. Okay. So this is going to be... Uh, what Performance? Should check would this be? Performance, maybe? No. No. What are we doing? Sorry, I had a... Building a wagon. So uh, essentially, we're still in the, the cave. We haven't left the cave yet. Um, yeah. I don't know if you still have that map. Wagon. Q, do you still have that map? I do. Jacket, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. Oh, hang on. I need to shift you guys to it. Beautiful. Maybe survival? Um, um, survival doesn't seem to apply here. I think I'm just going to call it a wisdom check. We're also saying that Alafa ran off er, after no, we looted the room. Intelligence. We lost track of the Laffa after, after we looted the room, just so you yeah. know. He vanished. He bolted. <laughs> to be honest, not, guys, not entirely sure if I trust him. He didn't say anything to us, he just disappeared. <laughs> I mean, he shot through a bunch of tentacles out at you guys one time, didn't he? Yeah, well, he, he obviously didn't. doesn't care about the group. Nope. Screw that guy. Maybe he thought you guys would like it, I don't know. That's weird. Ra uh, out of character, Rags is suggesting a strength and wisdom check for the the wagon. Yeah, I was... I, yeah. I'm not proficient in any sort of building or anything like that, so... There's no crafting or profession roles in 5e that I have seen, so... As a... I, yeah, wisdom does make more sense. Um... Nima's Nima's building is that how do that I it? how do I tell it to roll wisdom then anything that is wisdom or new no. you uh let's see oh, on oh, your I, I found it I found click it click the little die it's other it's down it's down there ooh I suck at this oh but is someone helping me do I get advantage uh that's an excellent question who is is anybody helping him. I can try. I mean, crickets, I'll help. Crickets. Oh, I'll oh. help. Okay. All right. Looks like we got this uh, wagon together. Bolt. It looks a little rickety, bolt. but roll, 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 bolt. Roll wisdom check, bolt. Wisdom. Roll wisdom. Oh boy. Roll Please wisdom. succeed. Phoenix Blade. Hey, buddy. <laughs> yes. Bransky, okay. welcome. All right, Kitten that's is. Good enough. That's good point. We'll Kittenish Linky. High five. <laughs> What's going on? Welcome to the channel. There we go. Okay, okay fine. so Leave me hanging. yes, you will have advantage. That's good. Mm -hmm. Now let's do the strength check. Okay, strength check. By the way, Q is an awesome strength, dungeon master. Place. Just so you guys know. <laughs> yes, yes. Those rolls. Those rolls. Those rolls. 
Roller, 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 roller. Okay. Hey, Bear John. You guys put together a wagon. And it actually looks like it rolls. I mean, shit. You've even got a place to sit. <laughs> awesome. Shotgun. <laughs> I, now, I propose that bolt is hooked up like right. a mule. Looks he's like a bullet. <laughs> Let's get that <laughs> goblin the hell- oh wait, he's dead. Um... <laughs> well, right. well, I guess we'll have yeah. to take turns uh, pulling it until we get to the other wagon, maybe yeah, my str I'm split. strong enough to pull it, right? And there's- there's no, um, horses you can assemble here, sorry. Right, I can pull it myself, so, that, I'm strong, right? Yeah, that other fine. goblin isn't that. dead, guys. Yeah, he's uh, he, away. No, he, he bled he out. He went to shock, he went into shock and bled out. Oh, sorry, my bad. He, he's dead right here. Yeah. yeah. Someone sorry, a Achilles guys. Tendon. I kind of <laughs> Achilles to try and stop him yeah. from moving. <laughs> right. So I will pull the wagon. He's on. Yeah. What's up, baby right. punch? Welcome well, to the channel, guys. I'll help guys. you out because it looks like there's a bunch of steps you have to get down, and that might be a little hard, like here. I got this. I got this. And there. <laughs> to make sure Alafa doesn't come back and steal anything. You're on watch. Um, is all this stuff gonna fit in our cart? Do we have enough space for all this stuff? It, it looks Not like all, it came. Not but from... a large amount. You can get you can get a clear majority. Because a lot of it, a lot of it has been already used or ransacked or otherwise made worthless. Right. Okay. So in. I mean, these are goblins. So. Right. So let's just make They're sure not... we prioritize yeah. and we go through the stuff and uh, we've we've made sure we've left all the crap behind. <laughs> Yeah, all the feces. Yes. Alright, so, you get the wagon loaded up, and, um, you, well, I will say that you can, yes, get it down and out the cave. Um, anything else in the cave? Are you guys gonna say goodbye? I'll do the same sayonara to this place. I'm, I'm good to go. The bugbear's head. Yeah. I have the faceplate. And yeah. I have the goblin leader's head. Yep. And And you have the you have the glass sphere, right? Yeah, out of yeah. So I have the faceplate piece, I have the sphere. I need to put this on in my inventory. Phoenix Blade, it's all good, Guys, man. Good to see ya. Guys, I can't help it. I need to see what happens. I'm gonna lit I'm gonna break this dam just so the water goes through. <laughs> <laughs> are you, Can are I... you waiting until everybody is out first, or are you just gonna Push the Let's... shiny red button before it's safe. <laughs> Am well, I able to have? Let's say I did it uh, before everyone's leaving, so everyone's already up here. I'm just gonna let the water go down and then. Drain. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. All right, Paul, now what were you saying? Paul, Magna. Okay, so um, I I would like to say that I see. <laughs> What he's about to do, I see him moving towards it, and I, I just have this <laughs> feeling he's going to, uh, yeah, basically. Uh, so I, I would like to try and stop him. Uh, and how, how are you trying to stop him? Uh, that's a good how? question. Um, I will, uh, <laughs> I guess yeah, I can. I'll, I'll shout from where I am because I'm pretty far away. I don't think I. Well, it's up up to uh, up to our lovely DM. But uh, can I dash over there and actually grab him? Sure. Now, if you if you're trying to grab him, that's a grapple. You'll have to roll an attack roll. Well, unless he doesn't see you. Well, he doesn't know you're coming. I would be coming from behind him. Um, let's uh, yeah, let's but... let me just try yelling at him. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say, Gurgintius, it's not a wise idea. Stop what you're doing right now. Huh? Uh, don't worry about it. It's not gonna hurt anybody. I mean, look, the the last time the water rushed down, it emptied out. I mean, yeah, hey, maybe there. there's something down down there we could see if we empty this dam out. 
Yeah, but let's get the goods out at, at least first, because the worst case scenario, either someone gets stuck in here or we lose our equipment or something. We need to get the stuff out of the cave first. Uh, uh, okay, well, then can you guys wait outside so I can do this? Uh, curiosity is just killing me here. I, I need to know what happens. God, I hope you drown. You're your own person, <laughs> but uh, I say we get out of here first. I'm going to go ahead and leave with my loot. I have a frying pan, so I'm all good. <laughs> Palma's boots are gonna get wet. Hmm. <laughs> Father, hey, buddy. Okay, so I think I'll, uh, you let everybody I'm get out. Behind. I'm gonna stay behind and watch over the kid. All right. He's okay. younger than me in this game, right? Yeah, everybody. Yeah. You, uh, that's a good question, actually. Well, well we do know each kid. other. You can. You can still call him kid. kid if you want. Call him kid. All right, kid. Yeah. Sticking back with you. You're very reckless, and that pisses me off. I'm okay, I've I've moved reckless. just outside the cave, um, to the the left side. Um, I guess it would be right of the cave entrance, but to the left of the the river. Uh, it's a black dead area. I don't know if we can open that up. Is that where the goblins are dead? Basically, on the other side, just above where Strith is. I see. All right. Okay, who's I, left I inside not... and who's outside? Call it. Looks. I'm inside with Gurgintius. Move myself by him. I feel like this is gonna end terribly. All right. Why am I still over? Terribly. Because you haven't moved yourself. Siege, what's no. going on, buddy? <clears throat> Dr. Ingram, thank okay, you so much for the follow. Have shifted slightly. That was Welcome me. to the Magnation. I should be bet. Should. What the hell? How did that happen? Right. Okay. Sorry about that. Hey, Vector. That was Welcome weird. Alright. So, just pretend you... like that was the earthquake. Yeah, that was the earthquake that happened. That was no the, the tectonic shift that occurred. <laughs> um, and did we take... did we take... The still Darth and the uh, wagon with us. Still Darth outside. Still Darth. Sorry, and, the, yes. and the what? The wagon with so, the equipment. Yeah, I assumed so. I assume when you said get everybody out, that you meant get everybody out. Okay. Dringham, what's up, Jam? Whoa, Welcome to the channel. Oh, no. oh, 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 uh, uh. So much shaking. No, actually, um, you uncork the dam as it were and the water rushes down and, and um, more or less fills this kind of area, the, the hallway area but otherwise it just flows out it's, it's enough to wash uh, that whole area that, um, that hallway but it all just goes out into the river and everything's fine Do we no, notice no, anything no down danger. here? Nope, it's an empty pool Okay. I'm satisfied. Let's go. <laughs> Told you, kid. <laughs> Step Told one, you take your hand. Hey, it was Step right two. One. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. All right. <laughs> Let's move forward. So, you have a wagon full of supplies. Um, Bolt will be your pack mule, as it were. Uh, I assume you are going back to the uh, location of the buried supplies, so you can recover those? Yes, please. Yep. Okay. Alright, so you head back, recover those. Um, all told, it takes about half a day um, to get it all undone and reloaded. Holy crap, What's that in that bush? I see something oh, in the oh bush over there. What is that? It was There's someone in the hiding. Wow. Alafa, you came bush. back to the supplies without telling any of us. Always. Always. Alafa, <laughs> you missed it. I broke the dam. There was water everywhere. And then I, I also we built a... I broke the dam. I broke the dam. No, oh, I broke the dam. Anyway, we also made a wagon. <laughs> <laughs> Rad nice. Count, what's up? Vertical Skew, welcome to the channel. I heard you had a marathon last night. 
Yes, I had to end it early due to uh, being sick and being up for 30 oh. hours. Two hours. No. Kinda starting a, a little bit late on my 24 hour stream kind of set me back a little bit. That puts a damper on things. Okay, so we said you were uh, you disappeared after we looted the room. We didn't know where you were, and then we literally just walked out of the cave and you showed up. So hey, you're hiding behind a bush. I see you, <laughs> sneaky <laughs> bastard. So I figured that was Spartan. within your particular idiom to just kind of up and disappear on everybody else. So Spellborn, what's what up, buddy? That time. We'll say oh, you yeah. just had a very successful stealth check. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I was the one that rolled a twenty. <laughs> You died like yes. seven times in the last fight, <laughs> lol. And I need you to know. Lol. I'm sorry for that, by the way. I apologize. Uh, Stildar, how how far away are we from uh, from the town that you asked to be escorted to? Half a day? Is that what you said? Uh, not far. No, it took you half a, take you half a day to recover all your supplies and get them reloaded on the wagon. Um, I'll say it's about it's about a day. Okay. I, I think we should head there sooner than later so we can get uh, cleaned up, get some rest, heal up, and uh, get supplies if we need to, and find out uh, where Gudrun is. I hope no one dug up our stuff. We'll get there when we get there. I'm the one moving us. Yeah. You get there on my pace. Safe. You get there on my pace. Sure, well, <laughs> let me know if you need help. Once, this is once gonna be you a get back, day. once you get back to the other wagon and the horses, um, then they can they can actually pull both. It'll be a bit slow going. It'll take some extra time, but they can do that. Let's go. All right, let's go. All yeah. right. So now let us shift back. Two. Oh. To the town and the peaceful music. Hey, quick question. Uh, do you know what page uh, my skill sets are for me? Your skill sets? My uh, spells. Your spell list. Oh, that's right. You have a spell list now. Yep. Blah, 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 blah. That's what I'm trying to find in the book. Shit. Die, uh, welcome to the channel. The list of your spells Avelia, welcome. is on page 208. 208. Okay, thank you. Um, and Alafa, Wolf, at some point, we are going to have to get you properly leveled up. Um, real quick, I'll, 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 do, do you have a copy of the PHP? Did, you, did I send one to you? I've had you otherwise... a copy for like seven months. Of the final copy of the not of ours, of, but I've... of the fifth. Yeah, I mean, I downloaded it. I posted it on the uh, archive website when we first started talking about this. It might have changed since those original copies, because uh, there there was a lot of like playtest documents that have evolved. They're no longer the final. Yeah, the one that I remember from the forum post, it was very basic compared to uh, this one. Yeah, no, I'll I'll see about getting you a, a, a more complete one. Um, basically, your hit points are gonna go up by either a D8 or five plus your con mod, whichever you want to do. It's up to you. I'll let you figure that out. Um, your spells, you get one more known spell and one more spell slot. Um, you also know invocations now. Wait, so it says first level, second level, and third level. You're a second level. What says third level? Oh no, for my paladin spells, then I would have had more spells in the very beginning as first level. You... What? You only have first level spells. That's all you have. Oh, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Okay. That's my year level too. Um, yeah. And then I just add them underneath my spells, I guess. Yeah, just because you're second level doesn't mean you get second level spells. Right. That's, that, that's what I was trying to ask him. 
Yeah, no, you you only get first level spells until you hit level five. Okay, so I just add <laughs> I mean, them level what are you one. Doing, I guess. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, Elder Gym Vocations, or what the Warlock gets. You gain two Elder Gym Vocations as a level. They are detailed at the end of the class description. Um, well, shit. We'll have to see if we can figure that out. I don't know if we're going to get into them much tonight, so if we do, we will figure it out. Interesting. Wow, uh, there's a lot here. Yeah, I'm just going to have to make sure I get you a PDF um, so you can properly work with that. Okay, so you have now arrived in town. It is an uneventful trip as you head back to Phandalin. Um, Sildar is extremely grateful. He uh, suggests that um, you all stay at a particular inn here in town called the uh, Pickle Barrel Pub. And uh, it is one of the finer places in town to stay. It is his preferred place. Somebody say pub? Yes. Uh, Let's go. Well, he is high class. It must be a nice place to uh, hang out at. Let's go. All right. Um, it is. We'll say it's. We'll say you arrive midday. So everything is open, uh, and uh, there are a few people about. It's not a large. It's not a city by any stretch of the imag imagination. Um, it actually has. Uh, a lot of older buildings that are kind of ruined and crumbling and kind of surrounding a lot of the newer buildings. So it looks like it's basically been built up over time. Uh, a lot of, most of the buildings are just simple logs, uh, but some have actual stone foundations. Um, obviously those are the ones that have been around a while. Um, some of the people that are out in the public square do look up as you approach, but they just go about their business. They pay you no mind. All right, so you guys are heading to the pub. Yep. We'll go yes. Uh, All right. Silda, are you going to be uh, <laughs> not not to be too forward, but are you going to be covering our uh, food board at this uh, at this locale? I uh, am actually need to go to the pub so that I might recover my own provisions and assets and I can make sure you are remunerated for your actions once we have arrived. Fair. Invites everyone to dinner, leaves wallet at home. <laughs> <laughs> he's that guy. Thunder Lily! He's not, he's What's not going on? Guy. Arrow, welcome to the okay. channel. All right, so you head uh, into the pub, and he will Damn head it. upstairs to um, secure his lodgings. Someone, oh, I thought you said be right back. Bartender, give me Sophie something did. hot. It's cold out there. Something hot? Well, I got something hot for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, this is one of those bars. Oh, give me the drink. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I could get you something. What, what's your pleasure? I haven't been one of these bars since we were tea? in the elf town. You have some tea? <laughs> I, I, I'll get you some tea. That's all right. Okay. What What about you? What about you, short, dark, and hairy? Talk to Palno? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Looking right at you. <laughs> on a big-ass... Brew. I want a brew. Finest oh, ale. Fire. The finest Aren't ale you, you just got. a little bear? Uh, all right, I'll get you something. Ale. <laughs> ale for everybody then, I assume, except for Mr. T here. I'm I'll, I'll, I'm good for now, thank you. I would like um some ale, please. A bourbon, a scotch, and a beer. All right, suit yourself. I'll be back. And he goes off into the kitchen area. <laughs> Bros. He uh, not movies. your typical innkeeper, uh, if you couldn't tell already. He's kind of lanky and thin and um, 
one of the cleanest in keepers you've probably ever seen. Party time, what's up, buddy? You guys get a lot and of people around here? Who are you talking to? Yeah, he you just went into the, the back, right? Oh, he went into the back, yeah. There are other oh. people. You're in the common room of the inn uh, and pub. This is, There are some people kind of uh, nursing their drinks. Um, they did look up when you all arrived, but uh, when they first saw your reactions to the owner, there was kind of like a, a general amount of snickering. So, um, I huddled by the fireplace. I'm... I'm, okay. I'm I'd like to kind of look around. Can you describe the scene a little bit more, Q? Um, it's actually what you would normally think of as a, as a rustic small town inn. I mean, it's wooden tables, wooden floor, um, animal heads lining the wall. Uh, the only difference is it's a lot cleaner than probably any other inn or common room pub that you've been in in a very long time. If ever, uh, there is a fireplace off in the corner, uh, especially it, and, and it is roaring at the moment, considering the weather outside. Uh, you have a small number of tables, uh, probably about somewhere between six. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just say there's eight. We'll say there's eight tables and a number of chairs, and various uh, villagers of all walks of life seated around drinking their drinking their drinks. Is there is there any valuables around? I, you mentioned a few decorations and such. Um, roll d4. Well, he uh, does that. Is there any cast time for my spells? Uh, should say. Uh, well, you I'm just look looking at the spell spells. list. Yeah, you, you have to go look at the spell description. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. I forgot you could drag those on. Yeah. Break them up. What's going on? What's up, Micah? Gone crazy. Welcome uh, to the channel. Yes. There is actually um, above the back of the bar, there is a very nice sword. A rapier, in fact. It is um, jewel encrusted in the hilt. That Can I would make a to suggestion? Be the only... Yes. Okay, so instead of all of us yelling over each other when it's time to decide to do something, when you say, this is something, what do you want to do? Start on your end and then go down the list in order and then have us all claim our actions and then just say it's like the end of the round or something. That way we're not all yelling over each other and it's confusing. Um, Whatever the order is on your screen, something. just go down. Yeah, yeah just... So when we're not getting pros, fight there's pros and cons. Something. There's pros and cons of doing that. It 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 kind of people <laughs> might not necessarily have anything they need to do in a particular circumstance. Diego, I, I, what's up? Sally, hello. I don't know. I'm just trying to Figueroa's. make it a little more organized that way we're not yelling over each other and stuff. Frankly, it might I'm make it might make everyone pay more attention. Ooh. So. Well, that 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 may happen. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That way, it's like, oh, it's time for me to do some shit. Time for you to do some shit. Because yeah, I'm just listening, like people like mumble over each other and yell, and I'm just like, okay, I don't know what I want to do, and yeah, that's just a suggestion. But all right, so I'm actually I'm gonna, gonna go. I, I, you know what? Let's try it. But I'm gonna try it because the, this is Twitch, right? It's or not Twitch. We'll try. I know, Zillion. Yeah, I'm it's, happy. It's all a bit different. So let's try it. I'm not going to do the same order every time, though, because that's another thing, is that you don't want the same person always being last. That's not fair to that guy. That's fine. All right. Uh, so... Somebody says have everyone raise their hand. That's what they do at their games. <laughs> yeah, that's... That is something I thought about. Uh, JJ? <laughs> are you raising your hand or the roof? What are you doing? <laughs> um, Is it on fire, may I ask? <laughs> no. Uh, it is not. I do have a question now. No, no miming. No miming. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's greater evil category. Okay, what's your question? Uh, I want to see if there is a blacksmith in town 
That way I can use the cast iron from my ironing or my pan. <laughs> Your and I want to make, yeah, my frying <laughs> pan. And I would like to make it into uh, like a dagger or a short sword or something like that if there is enough material. Okay. All right. Um, you will find a blacksmith. Um, let, let's see. Who is the blacksmith in town? I believe it's probably going to be... Actually, there might not be one. So you know what? There's not one listed, so I'm just going to um, say that the blacksmith in town... It also doubles as the um, coster, as it were. A merchant uh, company has a set, has set up a shop, and uh, what they do is they specialize in trading of goods, uh, especially for maybe the more well-traveled folk, or seasoned, or combative. So, in other words, okay. you guys. Um, that does not look like a collapsed roof. And lo and behold, the sign on the door is the same emblem as the crates that you recovered from the Goblin Cave. Yes, Ooh, Nima. okay. So, I, I has another question for Blacksmith, too, since I'm there. Okay. The other question... What is I was, going on? People are... Hey, it's an Ari. They're, they're pointing to each other. other. Okay. Um, actually high fives. Five. Uh, since I'm there, <laughs> uh, the javelins that I have, uh, I would like to know if they can break the tips off of the javelins and put those on my shield so I could use my shield as a weapon as well. Or just use my shield as a weapon, in period. Best thing like, like, I've ever heard of. Kind of make it studded. <laughs> well, I'm trying to make it more defensive and shield or attack worthy. Trying to make it more offensive, you mean? Yeah, thank you. Um, they would points actually be better served in not <laughs> working with the points to your javelins. They have material they can use for that purpose. Okay. Well, then would I just need to buy it from them then? Um, yes. Uh, you know what? Actually, stop. Stop. We 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 skipped a bit. We need to actually pay you guys. Um, Silver right. said what? Well, he was going to pay you guys 50, 50 gold. Each. gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so everybody gets 50 gold. You'll make sure you all get handed that before anybody leaves the inn. I get 51 because um, I carried the wagon back. I don't know who's gonna pay you that extra one. Is he, it me? Yeah, kid, he didn't have kid, anything to do with the wagon. The kid's gonna give me one. The kid's gonna give me one of his gold. Now, uh... The kid? What kid? The kid is... The kid is, uh... Big <laughs> inches. I call him kid. Presto! <laughs> hey, hey, I'm a badass. Four-door, what's going on? Who has You're, a, a, you're a kid badass. <laughs> now I have 100 gold, right? Do you? Well, I have 50 you, GP you on have me. Right? It's right on now. your inventory. Okay, well, there you go. So I had 50. Uh -oh. um, I, was just I have 203 or something. So. Now, I would also say that you probably want to, at some point, go deliver the original wagon to Barthen. That was the that was like the whole thing you guys were doing in the first place. Because there's another 10 gold in that each for you guys uh, that Barthen was going to pay you. So. Let's go ahead and do that now so we can get that over with. Okay. Yeah. Oh. oh, I wanted to get my tea, though. <laughs> okay, we're skipping around. Let's Okay. Let's just assume that everybody has that 10. We will roleplay it out of order. Let's assume everybody has the 15, have the 10, and we'll come back. All right, so JJ, yes, you can do that with the shield. Um, okay. JJ is a paladin. At some point, we need to figure out if anybody else is going to this place as well. But for now, I will just say that if you want to do with that, um, that with a shield, that's I'm a fine. rogue. You can Thief. treat it like a D6 weapon. Okay. Um, but it is it is essentially the same stats as a morning star. Bolt is a barbarian. And um, it is. Nima is a rogue as well, I believe. <sighs> Mm 
we're gonna have these details up somewhere on a website. Trying to decide whether or not we should count as light. Um, Fordor, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the Magnation, good sir. No. Yeah. What what size of shield is this? Um, I wouldn't say a full body for sure. No, probably, probably like, yeah. like a kite shield or something like that. Oh, uh, we can go with the kite for now, yeah. Okay. So yeah, it is just a. Oh, uh, actually, no, that's a. Uh, where is a morning star? Morning star. Oh shit, it's a D8. That seems a bit too much. I'm gonna say no. It's a D6 piercing. Oh. Thanks. What's going on? Thank no, you for the follow. Welcome to the Magnation. Piercing. So what is? Appreciate the follows, guys. That's just the type of damage it does. It pierces. Twenty more follows till Mrs. Magnus streams. And <laughs> that, that's all we're gonna go with for now. No, no additional modifiers or properties. Um, it's not finesse. It's not light. It's not heavy. It's not two-handed. It's not thrown. Yeah, that's what we're going with. Okay. Now um, there are rules. There are rules with trying to attack with a weapon in either hand. So we'll deal with that later. Um, well, like uh, I was thinking, like that could either be a main hit or, or I don't know. I, I, I for uh, until we figure out a way of getting you, shall we say, trained in it, or actually like you know learning how to use it effectively in combat. You're essentially just having a weapon in one hand and a weapon in the other, and you can't use both in the same turn. Does that make right. sense? Right. That, that's perfectly okay. fine. Okay. So I Waffles, can live with it being a one to six like that dude. then. So, like, yeah. and then maybe when you get trained, it'd go up. Uh, Mobros, um, it's actually it's going to be like a wiki. Me, but I don't think in 5e there's any sort of third edition-like penalties for ha holding a weapon in the other hand while you attack with one hand. So, um, we'll assume that's fine. Um... As long as the other weapon right. he's using is not a two-handed weapon, it shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, because when I use my two-handed, it doesn't... It's versatile, so he can use it as one-handed or drop the shield and use it as two-handed. Michael, hey, buddy. All right, who is next? Gargantius is raising his hand. All right. So I have, well, two questions. Yes. Well, one is... One is Actually, I should, probably shouldn't ask that. I was just going to ask about the gold we collected in the cave, like who collected that. Like, the, I remember you talking about like a frog or like frog. You don't, uh, you don't, you don't know about that. Oh, I don't know about that. Okay. And uh, other nope. question is, do we, do we like consider innkeepers kind of like, mm, you know, Faithful. what is that word? Okay. No, no, no. Uh, freaking. <laughs> The person who knows everything about the town, uh... Gossip. Tenari, is that for 5th so edition? Call it in... Cause he was saying he doesn't know if there's uh, anything mayor? like that for 5th edition. No, um... There's somebody that's informed, like, like you would Kia? pay off, um, the poor people to bring you information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're referring to hey, me. Are you trying to say a quest hub? Well, no. no not Actually, I'm not saying that. Like, like that guy in the hotel that tells you like where yeah. things are in the city. The like, information. Kind of like the... Concierge. Yeah, kind of like... Concierge. Concierge. There yes. You go, there you go. Where's okay. your <laughs> Um. In this kind Spelling of setting, is yes oh and no. I mean, you're always welcome to ask, oh. but don't go assuming anything. I still... <laughs> <laughs> I still spot it wrong. So, uh, I want, and me. Cause I didn't. Yeah. I will. I feel like we we can assume that we don't know the layout of this town, so we would have to ask somebody like, where it, can I get such and such? Yeah, you can. You can ask. You can yeah. ask him. You can ask. So, so just ask one of the locals. This We're in is, a pub full of people. This is exactly. Thank you. This is. Think of it like in a, in a world. You know, don't. It's. You have to kind of break the mental mold of thinking like it's a game. It's not, this is the guy who you talk to to find out where to find the quests and where to find the black and where to Final find Fantasy. Yeah, it's not like that. <laughs> it's not like that. At all. Thank you. Let's, let's, uh... Thank you, Reed, for saying the exact opposite of what I was no saying. <laughs> I think we should. I think we should get back to what we're doing in the town because okay. it's been like an hour and we haven't like done anything. All right. Oh. 
I'm gonna blame Jamie for his for first sword, to... and you're, I'm gonna you're... blame Nemo okay, for wanting to. Yeah. Don't be surprised if this takes us a while. <laughs> okay. I'm but ready. yeah, we need, we do need to move. We do need to move. So, um, what were you doing then, Nemo? Oh, I'm looking for healing kits. Does anyone know where I can go buy some? Are you nice talking? Tonight. Are you asking that of the? Here, I'll room? ask the like out people. loud, or are you talking Here, to? Here, I'll people? ask the. Do you know where I can find any healing kits? Um, I didn't catch your name. What, you mean like first aid? Something like that? Um, something like that, like potions and whatnot. Oh, sure. You can go to Barson's, I'm sure he's got plenty. Or you could go down to the Coster. They've got plenty as well, I'm sure. Can you, uh, point me in that direction? <laughs> he points All right, to sounds... Head. Don't Sounds you know good. I think that's what that was, Thunder Lily. Are you like from around here? No, I think the question was not to ask so many well, questions. Me. Nah, I come from the coast, hon. <laughs> <laughs> I exit in no. search of healing. West coast! Uh, in, of healing kits. <laughs> I take the right side, I guess. Where are we, like, here? Don't worry about this. I am purely putting a graphic in here so you guys can have an idea of what the town looks like. Okay. Don't worry about, like, I am now here. That's No, we're not going to worry about that. Think of in your head. Just imagine. Theater of the mind. Theater of the mind. <sighs> okay, so he's heading to... Were you, were, you, were you going to Barthens or the Coster? Um, the adventure, the provisions uh, or adventuring gear? Mobros, to be honest, only when people provisions. ask about them. Okay. So, now that we know that's what you're doing, let's find out what other people are doing. Sophie. Uh, Sometimes we have... Barkeep. My cam's out of focus. Let me Hold ask on. the barkeep if, he, if there is a uh, local temple or place of worship nearby. Got one. We got a uh, shrine of, of Tamora down over yonder. The guy has to block if you didn't already know that. Okay. Well, how far away is it? Is it like just a couple blocks down or just keep an eye out for a large building? They, you can't miss it. Okay. Just down the road. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and head off that way. Okay. It's actually... Oh, oh, it's next door. <laughs> <laughs> so if the inn if the inn is here and here's the shrine. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna go over to the shrine and meditate. Alright. We'll come back to you. Palma. Hi, so um Hugh, can you uh just let me know what some of the people that are in this pub, like who are they? So they appear to be salt of the earth. You have a lot of farmers, um, kind of general workers, people who have finished their day and are just coming to relax in the common room and have a beer or a hot drink. Um, there, I wouldn't say there's anybody out of the ordinary. And uh, all, all human? Um, human and a couple dwarves, sure. Okay, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna approach one of the uh, the locals, the uh, one of the human locals. Okay. Good day, fine sir. How are you doing? Well, Matt. What uh, can I do for you, stranger? I I I'm I'm real curious. I'm not from around here, as you uh, have duly noted. Uh, I'm looking for someone who may be able to uh, provide some enchantments for my uh, my armor and weapons. Do you know who I would speak to about that? Well, you're looking for that sort of thing. Uh, I'd say you're probably better off going over to Neverwinter, because around here, we ain't got nothing like that. No, nothing... Not fancy, no. All right, fair enough. Thank you for your information. I appreciate it. Uh, oh, you know we 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 did have a wizard, but he uh he's scarper. We we haven't seen him in a while. Don't know where he is. Uh, and he was he was located here in town. Yeah, he's set up shop. Uh. 
down minus exchange, I think. Uh, and how will I no. recognize the place? Do you know where he was located, roughly? Uh, just down the road there. Big Billy, it says Miners Exchange on it. And, and there's no one else there right now? Oh, no. Uh, he, he got, he, there's Holly. Holly is down there. She's uh, a bit of piece of work. Uh... You, you, you might want to be careful around her. Fair enough. Thanks for the warning. And um, I'm going to actually... Uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, throw down a, a piece of gold for this guy. Because I appreciate his time. Looks like he could use it. He nods his head in thanks. A gold piece is actually like a lot of money. It's probably it's like dropping a fifty. That's okay. I'll steal it from someone else okay. who's rich. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I think after Magna got blown up by landmine, he's no longer friendly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wolf. Da. Lafa. 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 Ha. Lafa. Da. So, what are you doing in town? I am getting wasted at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting to see what everybody else plans to do. Okay. Well, a lot of people kind of seem to be going their own separate ways after they've turned in the, uh, the provisions and, and uh, gotten paid. But uh, not necessarily... Own way. I mean, I, the, the general idea, and correct me if I'm wrong, guys, is you guys are going to try to find Gundren. And you're going to work together to do that, but while you guys are in town, you know, it's like, oh, I want to check out this movie, and oh, I'm going to head down to the, the shrine. You know, the people just want to, you know, come do their thing for a couple minutes. You're, you're not a bunch of girls. You don't have to go to the bathroom all together, okay? Yeah, um, I was still, just thinking. Still not interested in searching the town that I was digging graves in <laughs> for quite a while. Okay. Uh yeah. Brock Hale, You're what's up, dude? Probably the one that when you walked back into town, you were the one probably getting most of the looks. Yeah. Like, oh god, it's that guy. Yeah. Okay. Bolt. Well, yeah, I'm just drinking my beer. And singing about gold because you're a dwarf? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna poke around this pub. I'm gonna poke around this pub. We're in the gold, pub, right? Gold, yeah. gold, 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 gold. Yes, I'm gonna poke around this pub. pub. What do I see? You and, I wanna you see. and a lot Who's of us seem to be the only people left in the pub. From, okay. your, from your group. From your group. I would like to survey the area. And, and like see what I see in in the pub. Look around and see if I see anything that pokes out as in interesting or something that grabs my attention. Namely, um, if someone's staring at me or looking at me funny. Want to take your gold? <laughs> or they're like, I hate. Dwarves. Oh God, Folds is drunk again. Dwarves. Um, actually, you are kind of underwhelmed by how how completely ordinary this is. Um, nobody's looking at you funny. I mean, there are a couple other doors in the room. It looks like a tavern. It looks like a common room in a pub. Hey, Dasani, welcome really back, unusual. buddy. The weirdest thing about this room, about this place, frankly, is the innkeeper. Because it looks like he's in, right in now? you know what I'm saying. Damn. Yeah. Actually, Where's the innkeeper right behind, now? He's behind the bar. I would like to talk to the innkeeper. He's polishing his mug, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Best time to talk. I want to go check out. I want to go check it out. Okay. He is literally polishing a mug. Hey. Uh. What can I do for you, stranger? So where do you go? Where do you go in this town to uh, see some action? See some action. What kind of action? That's a, that's a <laughs> really uh, <laughs> that's for you to decide. Big, what kind of action do you know about in this town? 
Well, mm, uh, <sighs> I, yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is cotton uh, Let's put it this way: that's not the sort of thing people usually come to this place looking for. Okay. I mean, there's trouble if you want to find it, but I wouldn't recommend it. I'm looking for a man that's gone missing. Oh, really? Who's that? Begins with a G, ends with an N. You know what I mean? <laughs> Dwarf. I decided to change it. Was his <laughs> name N? Is that the first part or the last part? Like, I don't know what you're talking about, okay? His name was You're doing this whole, like, cryptic, Gundren. weird guy Gundren. thing. Gundren. Okay, well, no, I don't know of a country. I'm sorry. Is there anyone in town <laughs> Nick, that would know awkward. of people that have passed through town? Or have seen anything that comes through town? Who sees everything in this town? Honey, that would probably be me, okay? And you haven't seen anything named Gundren. Anyone named Gundren or people bringing someone through or somebody that looks out of place besides this group that I was just with. Gundren who? Do I have to look up his last name or are you going to tell me? Chief is really mad about that. <laughs> uh, like Gundren Rock Seeker. Or something. Rock, Rock Seeker. Seeker. There, that was close. Yes. Gundren Rock Seeker. Oh. Well, I don't know anything about any Gundren, but I do hear about a couple other rock seekers coming through here. Do tell. What do you know? Not much. They came, they went. They picked up some provisions down at Barthens, and they were on their way. Down at what? Barthens. Where is that? Barthens Provisions is down the road. Everything's down the road in this town, baby. It's just, there's one road. Really. <laughs> that looks like a few roads. Gone crazy. What's up, dude? Right. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to Thanks the Magnation. Thanks for the information. I'll take a beer to go, or a pint to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You just walk out with the drink. Yeah. <laughs> I'm stealing your silverware. <laughs> I'm just walking around. I've got my no, own. He, he, he hands him. He hands him a red paper, red plastic cup, and, and then you get to go. Red solo it's amazing. cup. <laughs> Ah, uh, Jay. No, he, he looks like he comes. Q is like not a female down. bartender so, at this time. He'll fill her up. You can put I'm a little out of a bugbear skull. Mmm, brains. Yummy. Yeah. All right. So you head up to Barthens, and who else was going to Barthens? I, I'm there. Well, uh, I'm heading there. Okay. All right. Um, so actually, we'll say that you two can kind of both arrive at the same time because it won't have been didn't take Bolt very long to to get on that path. So let's do that. Let's just say I got lost and then we got yeah, there together. And, and you guys, you guys were there before anyway. You guys came back to the inn after dropping off the stuff. Um, how much coin did they take for your shield? They took. I'm gonna say ten. Ten gold pieces. Um, okay, so you're actually at Barthens, and you had a quick chat with Barthen himself. Elmar Barthen is his name. Uh, he is a human male shopkeeper in his middle ages, and uh, he is basically just runs a simple provision and general store. Um... So, you got okay. You guys walk in. What were you guys doing? What were, I'm looking for some healing kits. Okay, they can set you up with that. Um, now, are you looking for just like first aid kits or what? Um, ideally, I would like potions and whatnot for use in combat. Okay, they have... Somebody roll a d4, please. Three. They have... Oh, you beat you to it. It's a good thing, too, because that means they have three healing potions in stock. Um, however, they are 50 gold a piece. They are not cheap. Woo. 
Um, I'll buy one. I, I mean, I have 200 gold. It's nothing for me. Okay. 200. Well, 213 to be uh, exact. Nima's pockets ain't nothing to fuck with. I'm actually not seeing... Dang. What, what? Hmm? Where do you get all the gold? <laughs> well, we ha I had started with 150 at the beginning of the game. Oh, that, that'd be why. Never mind. Holy shit! That's pretty cool. Okay. They, um, give me another D4, please. Actually, okay. no, we'll just use, we'll use wolves. We'll use wolves. So he rolled a uh, one. Uh, which trying. means they have one, um, healer's kit. It is a leather pouch that has bandages and salves and splints. Uh -huh. Um, it can be used ten times. Oh, I want one of those. How much is that? It is five gold. That's cheap. Now, all it oh. does, it doesn't actually heal, okay? What it does is it can stabilize uh, an ally that is down to zero without needing to make a wisdom, or without needing to make a medicine check. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, well then I'll buy that, so 55, 213 minus 55. Okay. Kirby, what's going on, man? Welcome to the channel. Alright. Bellic Bros, welcome. And Slip Soaps, good All to right, see I'll you. Alright, I'll add that to my inventory. Alright, Bull, well, what are you doing here? <laughs> Besides pointing the finger at, at Nima for healing duty. Healer's kit, and the other thing was called... Potion of healing. Oh. Oh. Yes, sir. You came to the Barthens. What's up? What are you doing? What do I see? I came in um, after. I'm, I'm assuming I came in after Gigantus has already bought this stuff. Yeah. It's basically it's a general store. Um shelves with various food and other types of provisions laying the wall um and there is a middle-aged man wearing half spectacles um asking if you need any help what is the so it's just a just a dude in, in glasses nothing else weird about yeah. him no Do you, okay, so this is this a medicine shop or like a general store? Do you guys general in chat store. have any suggestions okay. you guys on sharpened weapons? Right now I've got crappy armor. I've got light armor. Uh, I'd like to get my axe sharpened. Best place to go for that would be down to the lion's head cost. Um, they can help with that sort of thing. This is the second time I've heard that since I've gotten here. I was going to go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll go with you. That sounds like something I want to So my do AC too. when I'm unarmored is 13, and my AC with worn armor is 14. any sort of weaponry here? Or is it just all general goods? It's leather. Um, Light leather. Nope. I'd just, like to enchant it with something. Goods. Okay. That's all the cost. I want to show you something, and I want to know what you think about it. And yes, this is PD-13. Oh, <laughs> uh, I want to take out... The faceplate. Oh I want to take out the faceplate and the the orb that I got, and I want to show it to the guy and see what his reaction is. <laughs> Sell, say, what what's going on, dude? These? What have you ever seen anything like this before? Okay, he takes a look at him. He's kind of eyeing each of them. Are you handing them to him, or are you just showing? No, him? I'm showing him. Okay. Well, that's that's all very odd. Can't say as I've ever seen anything like it. Uh, my dexterity is plus three. Where'd you find it? Don't worry about so... it, man. All right, I'm moving on to the blacksmith. Sorry, my dexterity is seventeen <laughs> wow, total. Fast. All right. <laughs> I oh. just wanted to see. I wanted to see if anyone knows anything plus about three this modifier. Thing, so that's, that's mine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Bolt, can I'm I tag along? Gurgentius. Oh, did you want right. to leave? Oh, you're still here. You're <laughs> well, still here. All right. Yeah. Come on, kid. So you want to go to the here. blacksmith? Let's get out of here. No, God. I'm not buying I those. I think I remember Fallen going that way. Uh, 
Maybe we'll see him along the way. Well, let's get there before he gets the good stuff. Let's go. I'm thinking something okay. that's either going to assist with right. my stealth, We're which I already they, they will arrive. I'm good at. Uh, Lord Fallen, your two of your compatriots will arrive at the store, and they are. Um, or something know. else. Looks like they might be looking for questions. Answers. Fallen, you are you are waiting for your shield to be uh, worked on. And of course, yes. will take some time. Yes, I am. I'm, I'm also waiting on my short sword to, or my dagger. I mean, oh yes. Okay, I needed to talk to you about short that. sword. So, hit up the end. Put up a... um, from a. Okay, so here's the weird thing. All right. Hey, Patroy. It's actually not very common for the same type of metal that you would use in a frying pan to be used in a weapon, per se. The reason for that is Is Scarfino because, braiding his beard? Um, <laughs> when you what? put it into a bladed weapon, it tends to be a bit more brittle. Now, give me a history check, please. Okay. Yeah, my no, AC I'm is 14, to correct. Under. Correct. It should be on your skills page. But Joel, BK Villain, what's up, guys? Let's see. History, you said, right? Okay, there it is. Um, Strith, yes, exactly. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. So I will let you, I will give you a piece of knowledge. And that is that the type of mill that is typically used for um, this kind of item. Uh, is sometimes known as, known as cold iron, and it's not the same thing as like or as like cold steel or anything like that. It's it's the way that the iron is made. It's the method by which it's prepared. It's actually different. It's one of the things that makes it good for cooking, but also makes it rather brittle and not. Pro fully, what's well. up? Now, my dragon. Said, hello, Ted Levine. Welcome. I will say that you have heard that there are some creatures which can only be hurt by magic or by cold iron. So while you don't necessarily have an effective weapon against most things, it might be effective against some things. You're not sure which creatures okay. those are, however. You just heard that, overheard it at some tavern late at night, you know? Okay, so... I'm assuming then my, my pan does become what I want? Yes. Okay, sweet. Uh, um, for, for five gold, they will re they will turn it into uh, a dagger for you. That's the best they All can right, do. Sweet. I'm assuming slashing as well. Yes. Wait. Okay. Wait. Hang on. Not necessarily. Dagger piercing. So I could make it okay. studded, but that's. <sighs> See, and Thunder Lily, before. that would be something I can do probably at the blacksmith, right? Yeah. He can, he can uh, fix up my armor. you use it in battle for it to break. I'm not at the blacksmith. I've okay. gone up the road to find someone who can enchant my armor and or my weapons. Uh, so I have to speak to Hale... Hale? Halia? Halia. Now you guys arrive. So I'm wondering what sort of enchantments. Gurgantius and Bolt, you, have, you, know, you are now arriving at the cost as well. Uh, so actually, and we didn't we didn't we didn't really go into this. Uh, the person at the coster, who actually you've been speaking with, Lord Fallen, is actually a human woman. Um, mm, I like not, those. Not <laughs> not terribly, not not young and not old. Um, she introduces herself as Lenine Greywind. DMG, and, uh, welcome to the jail, buddy. If, uh... Well, now nah, let's do this. Welcome to the Lion's Head Coster. Well, what can I do for you? To me? Both of you yes. Oh, okay. Kid, talk to the lady. Well, um... You're better with the lady. I'm a... I. Well, I use a two-handed sword, and I was wondering if you could sharpen this for me. Or temper it 
with that anything the best that you have. Line I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say. Right. Um, so Thunder okay. Lily, I've basically. Hang on. There used to be a wizard here. There isn't any more. There's someone who looks after that. his place. Uh, Man, I don't know if she sure. has any training. What, there's any that. girls there. I want to do them. <laughs> Um, uh, from Summoner, the old. Do you actually like movie. hold out a sword? Do you actually like? Yeah, I, I pull out my my sword. Okay. I show it, I show it, it looks to like her. she's not sure how to respond, and then she realizes you're actually holding an actual sword, and decides to. Um, I was gonna say that. that's a little forward, Nima. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Sure, we can. We can sharpen your blade. All right, sounds good. How much do you think it's gonna cost? This is the potential that goes so wrong. Just the gold, <laughs> just one. Um, that sounds agreeable. I want to walk up behind him and slam my axe into the countertop and say, "How about a two for one?" <laughs> <laughs> she looks down at you. Literally, um, like stuck does... my axe into the counter. <laughs> she is wearing. Did you actually like bury it in the counter? Yeah, I actually like walked up and go, Shink. How about a two for one? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bolt, Bolt just died. <laughs> um, yeah, into I didn't her, mention I'm into the table, into the countertop. I didn't mention that she is also wearing armor and has big poofy Merelda red hair. Yes. All right, go. I shove hair. it into the thing. <laughs> Sonny, I saw. My, I saw yeah, I saw the uh, all the you elements just you have or something. I can't hear anyone. There's a cat. I can't hear the either. dog. He's talking. Yeah, I can't hear you. Um, no. Still can't hear me. No, no, no. Oh, there you are. No, I can hear you. That was weird. I have no clue why. Okay. I was saying, read. I don't know how it is hey, you never played D and D because you are basically casting yourself as the, no pun intended, archetypal D and D player. Sup? Yeah. Uh, I've done okay. it once. This is so, literally my second time ever. But I hashtag do hashtag <laughs> archetype. So, hashtag yeah, archetype. I, I follow, follow, like, subscribe. <laughs> Scar rip. Scar rip. 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 No, I'm not gonna die. You're muted again. Uh, Q, you're yeah. muted again. Are you on push to talk? <laughs> no, it's his headset that keeps fucking yeah, up on Yeah, it's the headset. Him. He like wiggled it or something and it worked. I don't know. Bolt is the killer of microphones. Nope. Still nothing. Still nothing. I keep touching it. Ooh, touch it just like that one more time. Oh my god, I gotta find the video. Hang on. It's wireless, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like it's wireless. Can't oh, hear you. Get yeah. Back. No. Alright, we're gonna finish this in sign language. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Nothing? Nothing? Yeah, oh, there, no, there, there you go. There we go. That was weird. I, okay, I'm just gonna leave Ray Call up and I'm gonna watch my mic level. And that's weird. Okay. Do you wanna borrow a headset? Okay, you, you guys all have to watch this. I don't God, mean to make a stop <laughs> us, but yeah. Oh, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. This sucks. What? All right, everybody. That's D and D for the night. Thank you for hanging out yeah. with us. What's, talk, what's going talk, on? Talk. Yeah, I can hear Q. You can hear you now. Yeah, I can hear. Q. Yeah, I can hear him. In and out. I. This is okay. I have no clue what's going on because I. It's all I see is my levels like going like normal in rate calls. So he sounds good. fine to me. Yeah. Are you sure it's not on your end? You're Maybe you're perfect not. right now. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. All right. I'm bringing I'll this keep an eye on it. I'll keep an eye Just on it. Just in case. I I need no. I need I need a mic. That's what I need. I need an actual mic. What I what I need is you to send me like what mic you use so that I can like look into actually purchasing. Fan it girl, what's going All on? Right. Yes. Yeah, As I was saying. And Fran, welcome to the channel. The woman, Lenine, glares at you. Glares, narrows her eyes. Sean, you're going to be replacing that counter. I'm open to it. Uh, I'll, I'll pay for everything, just put it on my tab. Sorry for my friend. <laughs> tab? Because <laughs> Nima frequents this place, he's Bolt, got a tab. You need to mine people, dude. <laughs> 
What was it that you wanted? I think he wants his weapon sharpened as well. Oh, does he now? Well, That's I shall see I said, it gets the woman. appropriate treatment. Oh god. Actually, it's that's what I said. With... Comma, wench, oh, exclamation point. Do <sighs> courtesy. Bolt. If my weapon breaks mid-combat, you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> no, if your weapon breaks mid-combat, you're probably gonna die. <laughs> got your back, dude. I got your back, dude. <laughs> do you <All> now? Right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so she will take your weapons and will uh, say, "Come back tomorrow. I'll have something ready for you." Sounds good. Thank you for your time. I'm gonna Let's go behind. head back to the pub. Walker again just walks out. Okay. <laughs> let me let me stick back here for a minute, kid. I gotta I gotta hash something out here real quick. <laughs> Uh, this is gonna end so bad. Oh, stay out of trouble. Magna, I'll meet you giggles, at the pub. Magna giggles. I don't know what he's. I don't know what he's gonna do. It's gonna turn be bad. Slowly, well, turn around slowly and look that look that wench right in the face, <laughs> right in the eyes. And hopefully she's looking at me exactly how you're looking right now. <laughs> so dreamy. <laughs> so dreamy. Uh, probably <laughs> yeah. Knotted, furrowed eyebrows. I think. So she looks like a like a Romulan. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> Klingon. <laughs> Klingon. Not quite so. Not quite as naughty as you'd like. No. All right. Rattlesnake reboot. What's up, guys? Um. So I've got. I want to. I want to take out the metal. I the metal faceplate that I got from the bugbear. And I want to say, what can you do with this and my axe? Can you roll a d4, please? A two, huh? Two or lower I means she gets naked, right? Nemesis! Mm, no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think... Nemesis, did you already um... message me for coupons? I think you did. Have you crossed off? You must have. Roll me another D4, please. You can just hit up and then hit enter, and it'll do the exact same thing you just did. Yes, it's a one. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. So. Yes, I didn't hand it to her. I showed it to her and said, "What can you do?" I need <laughs> you to roll a dexterity nice. saving nice G. throw. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing, Thunder Lily. Are you sending? Oh, a seven. All right. <laughs> I'm 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 trying to figure out what exactly is happening here because this is happening a bit sooner than I thought it was going to. <laughs> That's how I roll. <laughs> <laughs> so pregnant. You better get yours before he gets his. Uh, Zeno Zayden, welcome to the channel. Square okay, one, so what's going on, buddy? Her these items, and she doesn't even look down. She's just glaring at you. Yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. But after a moment's persistence, which I'm sure you will do, because that's your idiom, um, she will look down at them. And, um... She will... Professional curiosity will kind of kick in. And she will actually start to look at them and, and try to figure out what they might be. The mask she doesn't seem to really know much about. She's not really, um... It, it's a metal half of a face, right? The glass... She starts to look at that and says well I might have seen something like that before can't remember where then start thinking 
You could do the thing a bit more polite, you know. It's not how I roll. That's not how I roll. You'll be rolling out this door in a moment. She has my axe, doesn't she? Yeah. All right. Well, I say, yeah. yeah, you have my axe, don't you? I. You take care of Lucy. I'll take care of you. Lucy's my axe. All right. <laughs> Nemesis, so, this is Dungeons and Dragons. I will say that um, when you say that, you're kind of, you've got the glass marble, the eye, in one of your hands, and you're like you're doing this with it, kind of gesturing, and that's when you happen to see that um, there are red tendrils coming out of it very slowly, very quietly, and then they very quickly sting inside your hand, piercing inside your fingers, and it is just horrible pain. Just, you're like, oh god. It's it's just horrific pain as you feel some sort of GG. writhing inside you as the red tendrils from the glass ball are actually like pushing and pushing and pushing and growing and down into your arm. Do I scream loud enough that he hears it? Or what? Or that who hears it? <laughs> Me. Just, I'm just here yeah. uh, most of the town's gonna hear you. Alright, I dashed back. I I'm seeing this happen now. Okay, so yes. I just have these things going in, see, like, through my veins. You can see they're like, it's like kind of red spider legs that are kind of coming out of the out of the ball and in, going inside his hand. And they kind of look like they're... So, uh, like they're he, he can't do a, a con check, can he? Just to be like, ow, is that all you have? <laughs> I, I want to cut his um, hand off. You know, under most circumstances, yes. This is too much. This is well beyond anything he could possibly hope to deal with. I, so yes, there. Phoenix Blade. Can I? Well, uh, the dungeon master sort of oversees it, but it's up to us to move on. The pain, I can realize what the hell's going sure. on. The pain doesn't really sure. hurt. This is probably pissing you off a lot. So yes, that's fine. <laughs> you can rage. Okay, wait, hold on. One second. I want to read something. Shit just got real, guys. Shit just got real. <laughs> Bolt, what's happening? What do you want me to do? <laughs> I want to take off my armor. I want to take off my armor piece. I'm How are you off. taking off your armor? I just, I just rip off, rip off the armor. Rip it off. Let's rip it off. Like Hulkamania style? What? It's, like, this I wanna, is like... I wanna I'm so glad I'm not even off so I can in use the picture at the moment. moment. You... <laughs> and what kind of armor do you wear? Isn't it chainmail? Yes, no, but I want to. I want I want to take. Wait a second. Hang on. Hang on. You're unarmored, I think. That's like okay, your. Still yeah. Have... Never had armor. Yeah, you have. You have armor. unarmored defense. You, okay, you, so you okay, that's fine. So I have. The, I have the buff. Is what I'm getting at. I have the plus ten. I have the eight, ten AC and the dex mod and con mod. Yes, exactly. Okay, so I'm standing in the <laughs> standing in the shop naked is what I'm getting at. Not literally <laughs> naked, but you know how I was in the cave. Okay, that's, that's fine. a very strange reaction to excruciating pain is to strip naked, but okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. Or what are you do? I still have a weapon. If we need, sure. if we need to fight something. Okay, so no, well, you have, yeah, I have a weapon too, but all right. So okay, yeah, and, and JJ's there, yeah. J yeah, I want to say I, I cut his hand off, because I'm seeing him freak out. Nope. He's freaking me nope. out. I want his hand cut off. Yeah, I can be able to do it. I'm raging. I'm raging. So, oh no, wait, I'm not raging. Well, you're raging. Can I just start I don't swinging at you with something a... then? No, let's all right. see what happens. I stop. That's... I am raging. I am raging. I am raging. Okay, wait, I'm gonna say that's fine. Hang on. 
You you can go into rage for free before we get into anything. So now right, let man. us actually. If if you guys are gonna like attack, then we need to do initiatives. No, uh, hang on, hang on. Uh, bless, 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 yeah, man. He doesn't everyone. seem to want to let me on. on. Sure, sure. He doesn't. He doesn't seem to want want to. Now you had to determine, JJ. You had to determine what your spells were at the beginning of your day, right? Yeah. So I have to. Hater Don Chi, thank you for the follow. Yeah, Welcome yeah, to the Magnation, good that you sir. Could possibly choose from. Well, I got more than six. No, I know that, but the way it works for you is at the beginning of your day, from your big long list, you pick six, and those yeah. are your options for the day, and that's it. Hang on, let me go to that page. Is he cutting my hand off or what? Are you gonna let him? I'm not gonna, oh, I'm not gonna let, let him. him. He can try. He doesn't have to roll against it. It's That's just like true. he's fighting me, right? Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, you have to roll an attack roll and everything. Let's I guess do you're this! And... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna swing at his arm and try to cut it off. This is such a bad or idea. Cut his hand off, not his arm, his what hand. What weapon? What weapon? Can I try and deflect the attack? Sure you can, That's fine. <sighs> These guys. Um, so attack. go ahead. I need both of you, Nima and JJ, I need both of you to roll attack rolls, please. Um, okay, Baron John, okay, well, it's not so much it winning, there's, be my glaive. Yeah, like, yeah, individual right, quests right, right, right. that we go through. I'm you trying to save your arm! Oh my god, no, Nima, but no! It's a glaive, though! How do you defend against, a, what, a longsword? With a glaive. Well, let's just say it has the reach from the door, and then I just flick it, like, I don't know. <laughs> oh boy. Um, why don't you go ahead and roll your attack roll? <laughs> oh, okay! Won. Oh shit, but, now, here's the thing. You are trying to go for a specific part of his body. Okay. Disadvantage. Yes. Disadvantage. What is your AC bolt? My AC? Is that what you said? Yeah, your yeah. armor. Okay, sorry, I was reading something. Uh, is it like 16 or something? Core yeah, stats. 16. Core stats. Okay. Top right. Alright, so, so... 16, no armor. I'm gonna say to do something like this, you're at disadvantage, JJ, which means that your 11 is actually what counts, and that's not gonna be his AC. I wanna oh, fuse it with my special No, my, my AC is 10 plus dex mod plus con mod. Which is 16. Defense. Which is 16. 16? You, can't, okay. you can't activate something after your attack roll. You gotta say that you're using that when you're yeah. attacking. Oh, well, yeah. fuck. You can't be like, yeah. oh, it's shitty, I'm gonna do this then. Well, all right. yeah. why not? Yeah. He's right. Alright, so 11. Okay. Unless it specifically is something that says that you can do it after a roll. I mean, that's... Uh, let me look at it. Unless, it's, unless it says that, then now he's right. Okay, so... Um, Bolt, you have no idea what's happening. You just know that there are weapons swinging around you. JJ, or Fallen, Lord Fallen's came awfully close. Uh, Gargantius, he pulled out his weapon too. He was swinging around you too. You have no idea. And and all the time, it's just like... It's, it's getting worse. It's not getting better. Um, on top of that, um, Bear John <laughs> is starting to turn glassy. Like clear, fragile. Uh, I don't know. You don't know. It's just it's starting to get the appearance of glass. It's becoming starting transparent from the, finger, from the fingertips down. Yeah, it's becoming transparent. Can I still like move it and grab stuff? What, your hand? It looks glass. Yeah, can I like bend my fingers out and make a fist You're and all that? You're still in extreme, extreme pain. You don't have any... You don't, you don't... Well, let's put it this way. If you try to move your fingers, it's got... There's something inside your hand that is not... feel Does not feel good at all. So it actually makes the pain a lot worse. You're trying to hold it as still as you possibly can for the love of Christ. Oh, there's no okay. price in this world. I'm raging, though. Sarah Green, what's going on? Okay. Is he still right. standing or Stan the man, welcome you? to the channel. Uh, that's a good question, actually. Can you roll a con check for me, please? Or is there is there a... 
endurance. Is that actually a thing in this edition, or did they take that out? Uh, uh, unskilled con check. Yeah, they took that out. Yeah, I'm giving an unskilled con check, please. Nice, Space Marine. Congrats, buddy. That's good stuff. That's what I sure got at the bar. A big thing of milk. Oh, yeah. David Foxfire, knees. thanks for the follow, buddy. Welcome to the Magnation, good sir. You are, you are on your life. knees, and, <laughs> and you are, um, uh, yeah, yeah, you're, you're at the very least on your knees. You're, you're not going, you're not going anywhere fast. All right. I don't have my, are you going, are you going, are you going to try and do anything though? Do I know who swung at me or if they were even swinging at me? Well, I'm trying to convince Fallen to cast something that cleanses his, that cleanses this evil or is like healing, like a healing spell, something that'll help Bull out without well, taking an arm. See, here's the thing though: is it poison? Is it disease? Or is it magic? Cast whatever don't you know. need. You don't know. Cast everything. XPG, thank you for the follow. I don't know. know. I want to know. It might be a waste and backfire. What do I we'll, know? We'll get everything. Fire. Welcome to the Magnation. Wait, I, I could use protect good and evil on him, can't I? <laughs> DMG, I thanks does. for the follow, dude. Saying? Welcome to the Magnation. I was like, I want to oh. know what I saw happen. Like, all I saw was weapons flying around in front of me. Am I, is there a, can I roll to see what I saw happen? It might not be you, what actually happened, but what I saw happen. Saw, like, I see someone saw. swing in front of me. Okay, you saw weapons swing in your general vicinity. It looked like they were coming at you. I know from who like which one oh, do I i'm deflecting his attack like this sure yeah, well, what but you're doing is... what you're doing it's what i saw okay hang on jj lord fallen swung he didn't hit he didn't come in he didn't didn't come into contact nima you were trying to stop him you didn't actually come into contact either so but did in, i come into contact bolts, with his weapon no 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 in bolts uh state in his rage and <laughs> no worries, G. fueled state we do this every sunday tell. same time all he knows is that there are weapons all of a sudden there's steel starting to fly around him guys i, I will be question? right back momentarily okay. give me a minute yeah um I mean, it looked like it was coming at you but you can't that you, you you have a, such a pain fog right now. Your vision is like going red around the edges. You're not thinking clearly. You're not seeing clearly. I'm gonna chug my beer and just sit in the corner <laughs> and deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, At this God. point, um, I'm Lenin really really is pissed about it. Like, Lenine actually comes around the counter and helps you to um, helps you to sit down. She is uh, she she asks what's going on. She's not like terrified of this unknown thing taking over. Mm -hmm. his arm. Yeah, did, does she not see that? We well, have no idea what's going she's on. She's like she's wide eyed and and obviously like not. Knowing what's going on, but she is still trying to maintain calm. Yes, uh, I would assume she's been in plenty of battles before. She certainly does seem to carry herself with a demeanor one who knows what she's doing in dangerous situations. I want to say, give me a sponge bath. <laughs> He's delusional. <laughs> That's the only time. way. Only way this will this will make the situation better for me. But okay, in reality, I finish my. I'm just, just drunk, yeah. uh, liquor, drunk, drink everything, deal with the pain. It's terrible, and I'm pissed about it, and I'm just going to curl. Like, she puts me wherever she puts me, but I'm, like, curled in a ball on the ground, just sitting there like, God damn it! Like that. That's how mad I am. That's how I'm okay. dealing with the pain. Lord Fallen and Nima, are you guys doing anything else, or are you just going to let him deal with it? Um, I, I'm trying I'm to still... think what I can use. Yeah, and I, I guess I've convinced them, so... I mean, I could do cure wounds, but 
I mean, if that's just still infecting, then he's still screwed. Space Marine, it's all about I mean, using your imagination. And then Nima trying to knock it out of his hand onto the floor. It's all about using imagination and role playing. That's what this whole thing is about. Stay away from me. That's what I'm yelling. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. I, I think that's my best bet. All right. If it happens, I'll do it. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna cast cure cure wounds on him. That way, his hand is instantly healed. And okay. Nima's just gonna have to roll to knock to see if he can knock it out of his hand. I have good sleight of hand. Alright, so, Bolt, the pain in your hand suddenly goes up a couple notches as um, <laughs> nice. you feel um, your hand, or you, you feel your body fighting it, actually trying to push it out. Um, you feel like it might be having some level of success. It's pushing something out of, like, from under my skin? Yes. Bolt, fight it! The, the, your, your, your hand is probably up to about here, glass, and it's actually starting to recede now. To my fingers? Yeah, your fingers were pretty much completely... Turn to glass. Oh, so it's going from fingertips there. down, not not out up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's coming from the tips. Coming from the tips, going down. Tips, and right. Nice, David. Yes, yes good sir. And you're, you're, well, it's been around forever. They were awesome. all completely. It was like down to your palm, and now him? it's. What's can going on, them, Zach? Like, this literally like glass, like. Mock, Lee, and I you, get to see you it, buddy. Can move them, but it's extremely painful to do so because. Chaos theory. What's going on, buddy? Shit, your fingers. You got blisters in your fingers. Delicious. Maybe. Um, this is. <laughs> I can't say it. Never mind. Say it. it now, no, I can't because point, it's a spoiler for another game. <laughs> this is a. Oh. This is a. So you guys have heard. Anybody else in town has heard this. If you want to have come running. I will allow that, and you're going to arrive fairly shortly. Is anybody going to do that? I did that during all of this already. I wandered you're, over there. You're heading this way. Okay. No, I've I've already arrived over there. I watched all this happen. Oh, you sneaky little bastard! We've been we've been role playing the whole time. No, we haven't. Yeah, he's been doing it in chat. In chat, we have. Oh, in chat. Okay. Yeah. Right. Sorry. I'm you very want to talk over everybody. Multiverse. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Didn't want to talk over everybody, so we were uh, doing the stuff while the stuff was happening with the stuff. The stuff with the stuff. I heard you like stuff. So we put stuff in your stuff so you can have stuff while you have stuff. Exactly. Speaking of which, Bolt, your hand is full of stuff. But, uh, so yeah, that's happening. Um, anything else? Any other actions being taken by I'm anybody? Just sitting, I'm just sitting in the corner and dealing with it. I'm okay, not going to like, do like anything. I'm just mad. It is not fully withdrawn. You could try to remove it now. So remove now. It. What do you mean remove Argentius, it? Fall? Uh, okay. Falafa? Um what are you guys doing? I'm guessing that's a sleight of hand roll. Don't worry, Zach, we'll welcome either way. Mm, uh, it's a close no, playthrough this time, be... but uh, I will be opening yeah, it to viewers in the future. Check. Okay. You're literally just like lawnmower, like you're starting a lawnmower. I, I think I got it. I think I got it. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to say you don't fully get it out, but you're making some headway. Um, you're getting, and you're feeling resistance, and it's not necessarily all from it, because as you're pulling it out, you can see that thorns have formed on the uh, Zach, thank you for the follow. This, Welcome to the Magnation, good and sir. They are actually pointing in the opposite direction. Um, so that when you're pulling it out, it's actually hooking it against his flesh and you're having to rip the inside of his hand bit by bit. I don't want it to be pulled out. I don't want it pulled out. out. <laughs> I, I am out fallen. Cast another heal spell. <laughs> Can I like? Can I roll to make it so they can't pull it out? Can I like defend myself from this? Sure. 
Uh, that would be another uh, untrained uh, strength check. I feel like I'm not going to play this turn. <laughs> Perfect. I have advantage on strength techs, strength checks and strength saving throws. That That's good. Why he's doing that, I'm going to use command and make him do the exact opposite and rip it out of his hand himself. Oh my god. Okay, let's look what? up the rules for command. So what do I do? Saving throw? Command strength spell. saving throw? Yeah, it's a saving throw that you have, but uh, it's going to be, I think, an intelligence saving throw. Um, okay, command. You speak a one-word command to a creature. Uh, Zach, we're already in well range. into the into the so game. What is uh, the this one is word? A, a closed session with archetype yes. members uh, for <laughs> archetype gaming. You guys can check out the team. Twitch.tv slash team slash archetype gaming. It's also listed in uh, in my title. At Please tell me how I get to take this word however I want to take it. Uh, I believe so, as long as you actually follow it. Lord Fallen. Um, what is the word? This gonna be good. You're right here next to me. By remove. I want to go with remove. Okay. That's not the word you were looking for. Um. Bolts, go ahead and roll a wisdom saving throw. Me? Yes. And um, JJ, what is your what is your? Well, it's not very good. What is your uh, DC? Is that in... No, we didn't actually do any of your calculations, did we? No, we have not yet. That All right, so... to one, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my charisma plus something plus something. Here we go. Spell save DC 8 plus your proficiency bonus, which is 2 plus your charisma modifier. So what is your charisma modifier? Uh, let's see. Your cha mod... Three. All right, that's thirteen. You rolled an eleven. Not good enough. So you do have to follow the command. And that so it's just command, remove. Remove. Yes. I would like to remove myself from the situation. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, that is valid. I'm sorry, but it is. Uh, so means I just walk out. I just walk away from Does what's that mean going he on. Just loses consciousness. Possibly. <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll another um, con check. Untrained con, con check, please. No. Con check. Salt and vinegar chip for the win. Delicious. Big roll, big roll. Yeah. Holy okay. Crap. You rise above it. You suck it up. You throw some dirt on it, and you stand up and start walking out the door. Can I remove his head now for doing that? <laughs> is my uh, hand still on the thing? He's yeah, gonna try and kill Fallen him. now. This is great. But can I use uh, remove okay. twice or just one? He's not carrying you. Um... <laughs> I, I mean, okay, I am totally on the thing. Off. I don't really want to cut his head off, but I would like to remove okay. his weapon. You are kind of occupied with walking out right now. That's fine. All right. Okay. And <laughs> remove yes, his weapon by cutting off his hand. Hold of the glass marble, and um, just because he's walking out doesn't mean that you don't still have a hold of it. Now he's not carrying you, but you are. It's going to become tug of war. All right, Alafar, are you doing anything? Or are you just sitting back and... I'm sitting back and watching. Alright. If necessary, I have spells ready. Okay. Guys, <laughs> get behind me. Help me pull this out. Alright. Bolt Come on, me. and... Get off me. Atheus, I need you both to roll... Uh, strength checks. I'm just gonna start. I'm throwing punches. Trying to <laughs> I rolled it out. I'm just like, <laughs> leave me alone. Jesus. <laughs> A strength roll or strength? What is this? Strength check? Ugh, strength, I got strength it. roll, yeah. Un untrained strength roll, yeah. Okay, well, I have modifiers for that, though, right? Or no? Uh, well, if you click it, yeah, it'll, it'll have an effect, yeah. Who's typing, by the way? That's me, sorry. No. Okay. Let's talk. Clickety-clackety. All right. 
have I have advantage on strength checks and strength saving rows. It says, and uh, you you can see all that. Though, Sorry, right? guys, class, though. we're back. Um, well, I don't always see all of your stuff all the time, so thank you for telling that to me. Now that being said, your advantage, you actually had a better roll on your first on your first dice, so um, so it's not helping you here. That's when I'm raging, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you are raging. Um, you've probably got your boots like against like up against his hips or something as you're trying to push through. I must have hit home by mistake. Uh, My apologies. Of him. But there we go. Fix the hockey. I'm going to say that with that 20 Gargantius, you get it finally fully ripped free. You asshole. Now. <laughs> Drop it on the ground. Run. It's whipping at you. Um. You actually, uh, it doesn't seem to have, it doesn't seem to get a purchase. It doesn't seem to be able to get inside you at the moment. So before you have a chance to do something in reaction. So what is it that you were doing? Uh, I throw it in a, does anyone have a bag I can throw this to? Like, uh, into, let me see. like so we can, like... Okay, I just throw it into my backpack. I, we'll say you have a backpack. You, oh, you very least yeah, have a backpack I, and probably some pouches. So yeah. I throw it into my backpack. Okay. All right. Well, that was interesting. Uh, I did not expect that to not finish doing what it was doing. Uh, all right. Now you all have right. an idea of what it might be doing. Okay, guys, I think we need to find oh, oh, somebody who knows bolt. what this is. Bolt. Yeah. Um, your hit points are at half. Whatever oh, your maximum no. is. Not on the map. Huh? Oh, oh. oh my guy's not. A, oh, there it is. Um, it's it's in your character sheet under on, on the core, core stats. Yeah. Yeah. So my max your is at half, is, or my current is okay. Your, half of that. Your, yeah, is a half of that. Round, round it down. Twenty-seven. Where do I round? Up or down? Round it down. So that'd be. 12. I think. No. 13. 13. <laughs> the 13. Canadian Navy, Wait, yes. Math. I do math. I do math. Okay. All right. I have some. You guys. I typed out what's happening with me Hang on the chat. So. Okay. All right. What's Nima's, going on? Nima's throwing it in the bag. The moment he does that, I wish to use my dragon ability, since it makes sense here, and freeze the bag completely solid into a frozen chunk of ice. What? I have shit in here. Wait, what are you doing? What are you using yeah. to do that? My dragon ability. I can do a frost. No, oh, that's cone. right. Yeah. Okay. The JJ chaotic evil. Oh boy. Uh, dude. <laughs> hey. Can I dex away from this? I don't want like all my gold and shit to be frozen. Well, if you put it in your. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe um, just look up a recipe for all dress. Sure. Hopefully he misses before I have to roll it. Well, okay, that's the on. thing. You're going to have something happen. Hi, Angel. We could use that. Doesn't what? The breath? Hitter yeah, Donji, how you doing, buddy? Throw on its own. No, I don't uh, believe maybe. so. I, I believe it's just a straight up. I don't believe the breath weapons actually have a uh, attack roll. It's You literally are just depending on the saving throw. It is uh, save versus eight plus con pluses proficiency mod okay, half damage on successful save. That's what he that's what he has to roll though. Oh man. Yeah, no, no, you don't get it. Okay. So yeah, you have a uh, pack sickle. <sighs> there goes hundred and sixty gold. Well it's not like it's not gonna melt. Oh I it thought it was it like Perma frost or something. Oh, well, you're no, gonna no, think no, we're no, out no. in the blizzard too, or snow. No. <laughs> Thank you, Nemesis. All right. <laughs> um, dude, what the heck, man? You're paying for this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stress. 
Converted for now. I think we should try to find that wizard. What wizard? Wait, did you meet a wizard? You there? Were you there, Strith? I thought you were at the... Did you come running? Yeah, I came, I came running with the crowd of townsfolk. Okay. Materia, welcome um, to the channel. You had Flammel, Pinky, been what's going on? With the, uh, the acolyte who was in charge of the shrine. Uh, we can do that conversation later, but she will end up coming with you as well. Lord. I should learn how to eat first. Wow. Um, <laughs> her she name is. This whole thing? What? Is she kind of hiding behind the crowd from this whole thing, or is she up front with me? Oh, no. She, she as soon as it kind of died down and the intensity died down, she's right up in there. Her name, her name is Sister Garail. So you guys mentioned a wizard. Who met one, or is there a wizard in town? Anyway, I think we should take the night off. Heal. Well, well, hang on. What did what did, what did me and the sister? What did we talk about? In, in kind of in summary, does she have some information about the town wizard? Um. Well, did you ask her that? I mean, did you talk to her about that? I mean. As far as I'm aware, the only person who knows that there was a wizard in town was me because I was in the bar. Right, exactly. I asked a random person, and I went off to find him. So I don't, I don't even yeah. know what's going on yet with you guys. Exactly. So that's that. Unfortunately, that's out of character knowledge for the rest of you guys. You you wouldn't have that. Never mind then. That's why I was surprised when he asked, when he said something about a wizard. Yeah. So uh, I think we should take like rest up i think everyone's beat up and you know bolts, oh, and, so. bolts and pain stuff like that um let's just sleep tonight and regroup tomorrow and figure this uh whatever this thing is out hopefully my backpack melts by then <laughs> <laughs> well it is the winter poutine is amazing FYI. It is the winter, so... I'm, I'm gonna keep it by the fireplace. <laughs> Indeed. Well, that would do it. That would do it. Um, before it catches fire. Yeah, is that wise to do? We have something in there that can actually manipulate stuff and turn it to glass. It's fine. We'll deal with it if it happens. So far, we've seen that we can combat it in some way. We don't know if it's glass, though. Just a uh, transparent material. Well, he said it turned his hand into glass. Glass-like substance. Yeah. Because it was well, transparent. But yeah, it, well, it looks like it. we okay. can combat it in some way. Like, your healing spells seem to have been a little bit effective against it, so I'm not worrying about it too much. Let's just go to sleep tonight and figure this stuff out tomorrow. And I, I think that's a, think that's also a good stopping point. I'm thinking if it's eleven for everybody. It's, it's not eleven for me. Well, I mean, yeah, but I mean, <laughs> eleven. It's not eleven for me either. But I'm looking at the time. I mean, are you okay? I would like to use um, lay on hands on bolt. Okay, uh, that's what ten hit points you can give him back. Yeah, I mean, we're resting. Pieces. We're resting yeah, for almost, you, you know, gonna, we'll be at well, full. It, well, with Jake, it's not that weird. Hands back, I mean, wants to do it because that's have you ever put gravy on mashed potatoes? And... It's uh, still okay. a starch and gravy. Yep. On him. That's good role playing. All right. Um, so do you want to, do we want to call it a night? Well, I, I'm still out on the town. I, I don't know if I could. Oh, yeah. Let's, yeah, I'm sorry. We completely yeah, let's... <laughs> disregarded Ponga. Um... What, Why is he what, here again? what were you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, that's it. <laughs> Good night. No. Back at the right. ranch. Okay, so I've I've gone to the I've gone up the road, where everyone goes apparently, uh, but I, I think in the other direction, and uh, I'm trying to uh, find <laughs> Halia at this uh, where the wizard was located. Uh, so yes, I, I the knock. Miners exchange. Okay. Which so <laughs> the miners exchange. <laughs> no one over 18 is allowed. Exactly. Uh, so you have to get special special dispensation just to walk in the door. <laughs> but uh, it does appear to be a, a kind of a trading post. Um, 
the as you uh, see the outside of the building, it's quite stark. It's kind of utilitarian. Um, it's a relatively simple building. Uh, you walk inside, and it is uh, again very kind of simple and clean, and only with a few items on display. Uh, it mostly have to do with mining equipment and with um, well, no, pretty much just mining equipment. Um, hmm. There is a single woman sitting um, in the room. She is actually looks like she's maintaining some of the equipment, polishing some some items. All right. So I walk in. I approach. Excuse me, milady. Are you Halia? 